Hey guys, this is Dylan with Ella's Home and Garden. I hope everybody's having a beautiful morning. I'm coming to you guys today with another video. I'm gonna show you how to do a little bit something different. But before we begin, I have got a computer over here for the first time, so I'm gonna see if I can um, actually read your comments with Dino as we go through the video. So let me refresh this and see if I can get it going, and then we will get started. Let's see. I hope everybody's having a beautiful morning, and I hope you guys had a great weekend. Here it is right here. Let's maximize that thing. Now, have we got any comments so far? Three. Three? How come they're not showing up on here? Let's see. Settings, Skype mode, turn on, turn off. Oh, here they are over here, right? Yep. Oh, I'm reading the wrong place. Hi, Gail. Hi, Misty. All right, guys. So, um, I come to you guys each and every week with a new video, and the last few weeks I've showed you how to do a lot of Easter decorations, but ugh, I'm Eastered out. I cannot do any more freaking Easter. I know it's um, April 1st, we've got a couple more weeks before that time, but I've given you lots of content, lots of material that you can use to, um, you know, uh, decorate and get your house ready for that Easter season. So I'm going to come to you with something totally different today, which is this wheelbarrow right here. We got these in a couple weeks ago. Um, this galvanized look is very popular right now because of the farmhouse and... Um, you see it on HGTV, on Fixer Upper. It's very popular and it's very neutral. And the reason I like neutral is because you can take something like this that's got a base color, which is the galvanized look, and you can add any pop of color in with it that you choose. So whether it be yellows or pinks or reds, you can definitely add any type of color that you want to to match your theme in your home or your porch or your flower beds, whatever you're trying to match up with. So I found this um, wheelbarrow. You can definitely use it for live flowers or artificial. And I'm gonna show you how to kind of make a spring artificial arrangement today that's beautiful, that looks realistic, that you can put in this wheelbarrow and use it basically all season long. And this is something great because it's kind of a larger um, item that's make, it'll make a statement. So it's something you can use on your table as a centerpiece. You could use it on the side of your front door as like a little entry to your home. You could use it on your entry table. It's big enough, but not too big where you can definitely get the most use out of it, um, but not, it not be in your way. Cause you definitely don't want that. Sometimes you can see arrangements on tables and they're so freaking big can't even see the person across from you, which sometimes is good if you don't like that person, but in most cases, you want to get something that you can um, actually see the person or see, you know, across the room. So, I'm going to show you how to do this today, and be uh, while before we begin, you know, like I always do, I'm going to have Dina scan up, show you guys kind of my materials over here, and about what we've got going. Would it be easier to put that over here so that you're looking at it instead of having to turn around? Oh, yeah, guys, let me move this computer, and there's a cord in the floor, so if I fall down and kill myself, oh, mouse then it will not be good. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Hi, Nancy. Uh, hi, Christy. Hi, Maria. <clears throat> okay, it's so weird looking at me on there because I'm like, that's not what's going on. Okay, I feel like I'm on TV. How you doing? Okay, let me get this going over here. Okay, so the, the, the last comment was Rachel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, Rachel. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, guys, so, this is just showing this over mm -hmm. here. Okay, so all of my materials are laid over here, and as you guys know, I want to make sure that we have a clean working environment before we begin, um, just like with every video. What was that that fell? I don't know. <laughs> Probably a screw fell out of a cart or something. Okay. So, just like with every arrangement, you want to create your foundation first. The foundation is important because it shows you uh, I mean, it, it's there so you can put all of your materials in it. And in this particular wheelbarrow, I put two sheets of styrofoam. I stacked them on top of each other, and then I covered those sheets with the moss. And you want to make sure you cover your styrofoam, guys, because if you don't, you're going to have holes peeking in and out, and that ain't cute. It's ugly, and you don't want that to be visible from the table or from when you walk by. Wherever you put this particular arrangement in your home, you don't want it to be visible. So I wrapped it with green sheet moss that you can purchase at any floral store or here at Ellis. Hopefully you come see me. And um, I want to tell everybody thank you for watching our videos and I appreciate all of the comments and questions. And it, as you guys always know, put your name down below where you're watching from. Just give us a shout out and any questions or comments that you have while we do the video, please leave them below and let's talk about it. Let's see. Nancy's asking, are you drinking wine already? Hi, Jan. Hi, Jennifer. Nancy, I'm not drinking wine yet, girl, but the morning is still young. It's five o'clock somewhere. I don't have anything in here, but some 409, so we're not going to do that because oh, you know how that, my, my eyes might be kind of crazy. Let's see. Um, hi, Janine. Hi, Betty. Okay, so another tip that I want to give you about the styrofoam, guys, is you don't want your styrofoam to be 
way above the rim of the container, whether it be a, um, a vase or whether it be this particular um, wheelbarrow. You want it to be at least to the, the line or the rim of the container. So that's about as high as you want to put the styrofoam. Don't put it any higher because we're not making sand castles here. That's just your foundation. So it really doesn't need to be visible. So that's why you don't want to do too much. And also inside you'll notice I just put a square in the center. I didn't go overboard and crazy and I didn't put it all the way to the edges because that's way too much styrofoam. And you can definitely use that, but you can do the same thing with the smaller piece and you won't have to waste all that styrofoam and it's so much space to cover. And also, you still want this to look like a wheelbarrow at the end. You want to be able to tell what it is. So sometimes, like I say, less is more, except for hair extensions, y'all know me. But you know, <clears throat> you want to make sure less is more and have something in here and always come from the center of the container so it looks more realistic, okay? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Deborah. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna start with our poppies. I picked these because this is a beautiful flower. It's got a large bloom on it, not too big, like a hydrangea, but it's something that you can definitely make a beautiful arrangement out of. It brings lots of color into your home, especially when you're using a neutral base like we are here with this particular um, galvanized container. And these are also great because you can blend lots of other colors and flowers with them. Something that'll take you all the way through the year, all the way into fall, because you know yellows and oranges are popular during um, the fall season as well as summer and spring. So I'm gonna use these as my main flowers, but I'm also gonna accent with lots of purples and pinks just to really make this something springish, okay? So, um, I'm gonna start with the yellow. I mean, you can start with the orange, it's up to you. And we're gonna take the tags off <clears throat> and go from there. And guys, I don't have my trash can, I always ask, but I thought about it, but then I just decided not to do it today. So we're not gonna do that. Hi, Dale. Hi, Marsha. Connie. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is determine how tall you want your arrangement. That is basically up to you. I mean, you don't want it too tall where it's like bending over, but you definitely want it tall enough where it makes an impact. Now, this right here, if one of you guys do this and send me a picture, honey, I'm on, I am love emojis. I'll be sending you an emoji back with the hands crossed, like in the one with the face over the hand. I mean, the hand over the face, because that is way too tall, okay? So we're going to trim that a little bit. And remember, just like your hair, you know, people have nervous breakdowns and cut their hair off and they, they regret it. And so um, I've had a nervous breakdown up here and cut my stem too short and it didn't turn out good. I would have to have some wine. So you want to just trim it a little bit at a time until you get that perfect height that you want. That's still way too tall. So we're going to cut it a little bit shorter. Okay. Still too tall. I'm going to go with about that high for my height. And that right there, it looks about a foot, maybe 12, 14 inches at, at most. And again, if you have a bigger space to fill or a bigger area, definitely feel free to make it longer. Um, I'm just not going to for this particular project. Okay? So, did you watch American Idol yet at all? I'm still catching up on other shows. Oh, Dina's stressing me out, y'all. Y'all got to start watching American Idol. Um, I have been watching and I love that show. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it at first, but I do. I love Katy Perry's hair. She's a beautiful girl, um, love it. And Lionel Richie, um, I don't think we ever know what he thinks because his face is pulled so tight with the Botox. I mean, he can he smiles and he's frowning. You never, never know. Looks like I'm smoking with this. Um, <laughs> so anyway, th I love that show though. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. All right, I'm gonna put a little glue on here. Put my first stem and I'm gonna put it in the center of the styrofoam, okay? Just like that. Be careful, don't burn yourself. <clears throat> and as you can see, these particular stems I'm using have two blooms on them. One's a, a bloom and one's a bud. So the bud is not opened up yet. And that's great because it gives you a little difference of sizes on your stem that you're using. So we'll put that in the center, just like that. Okay, now, just like you guys know, we always do one side of the, at the time. So we're gonna kinda do the right side with the big flowers and then we're gonna go to the left in the front and back. This is an arrangement that can be used 360 degrees. If y'all don't know what that means, it means all the way around. So we can definitely do that and we're going to. So make sure whatever you put on one side, you do on the other. And I haven't done an arrangement for a, in a while that is 360 degrees. So I wanna bring you this back and show you, you know, kind of what we're doing. Okay, let's see. Hi, Jackie. Oh my God, girl, I thought about that glue gun. Was it close to my eye? Oh Lord. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, yes, I love the Royals. Um, I haven't watched it in a while, but I love the mom. She's crazy like me, and I do love it. Misty, she has said, do I watch The Voice last night? 
Yes, I did. Loved it. Loved it. I'm trying to think who my favorite was. It's hard to tell who your favorites are when they do the battle rounds because both of them are on there. And I'm, my attention span is like, well, so I can only remember one person at a time. But they were all really good. And some of the people they let go, they should know they should have kept them. And, you know, they have that button on there. You probably know this, Dina. The, um, what's it called? The, the steel train. button. I'd have stole the first 10 and then I wouldn't have any more steals. So, it's a good thing I'm not on there. Sharita's watching. Sharita, I heard you're new. Uh, I heard that you're upset with me because you're not my work wife anymore. Girl, you'll always be my work wife. And then there's Dina. I've got many. Y'all ever seen that show, Sister Wives? Welcome to Ellis. Okay, I've got many. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna alternate with an orange one, and we're gonna go over to the right side and do it a little bit shorter. Okay, and guys, I wanna um, tell you, make sure you always put your stems near the center of the styrofoam, even if you have stems that come out this way. You want to make sure you always put it near the center because in a real or in a, a real flower growing out of the ground or growing out of a vase, they always come from the center. And again, even though these are artificials, we want them to be as realistic as possible. Let's see. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Bridget. <clears throat> Girl, I've heard lot Bridget, we've heard lots of information about um, that wreath thing. So if you will leave a comment down below or send us a message and let me know more about that wreath um, demonstration because a lot of people have been messaging us and, you know, letting me know about that. She's like the fourth one who's mentioned it. Yeah, so guys, if you are going to that wreath thing, send us a message on Facebook and let us know more information about it, where it is, what time it is, what you do there, what you're going to be offering there, who I'm going to see. Um, let us know all that stuff so we, you know, maybe that's something that we can make an appearance at and we can become friends. Who knows? And somebody left me a note last week. Did I tell you already that wants to take me to lunch? I can't wait for them to come back because... I went to lunch with a friend yesterday. We were there for four and a half hours, and I was like, oh, my God, and I wasn't even drinking. We were just talking and having a good time, so I can't wait to meet who that was because, you know, I was out last week, so um, I'm looking forward to getting back in the groove this week and getting caught up on everything. Hi, Mary and Nancy. <clears throat> oh, it's sold out. Y'all better let a VIP in to get me to get a new iPad. Girl, please. So, anyway, yeah, y'all um, leave me some information, and even if it's sold out, maybe we can sneak in the back door. Who knows? Me and Dina have seen a few uh, suspense shows. We can figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the Pink Panther. I'll be the Big Panther, though, rolling and rumbling. <clears throat> okay. So, we have this one, and I cut it a little bit shorter, and I'm going to pull that bud up on the top of this, just like that. Okay? And all these are on wire, so they're very easy to maneuver and manipulate. Okay? So, you can definitely um, bend them whichever way and whichever direction that you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to put a little glue on here. Hi, Betsy and Rhonda. Let's see. And I cannot see in all the comments. So if you see something that somebody's asked to tell me because I can't see it all. Okay. We're going to put that one there. Now we're going to go to the other side and replicate it. Okay, so we're going to put the orange one on the other side. And guys, for those of you wondering, these poppies are inexpensive. They're $4.99, 25% off, so $3.74 per stem. And you get two blooms on one stem. So that's really great savings, and it's everyday price here at Ellis, 25% off. So you guys have got to make a vacation or a trip, because until we get to online store working, I appreciate all the comments about the online store. We're working on it. Um, as soon as we get that up and running, girl, we will let you know. And uh, But until then, y'all make a trip and come see us. It'll be a fun trip. We've got lots to do here in Longview. Um, eat, that's about it. But um, we'll still have fun. Nancy Williams is asking, is this done like a long and low arrangement? Long and low. I like that girl. I'm gonna get me a shirt that says that hashtag long and low. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, we're just gonna have, you know, the height to begin with, and then we're gonna, gonna go from there. But what I said at the beginning, we want to make sure we know this is a wheelbarrow when we're done. So we don't want to get it too big, too powerful that we don't really understand it's a wheelbarrow. So, like, sometimes less is more. So we're just gonna kind of go. Um, I'm just gonna do this with you guys. I haven't done one of these before, and, um, you know, We'll figure out what we're going to do as we go. And sometimes that's okay, guys. You start projects and you don't exactly know how high you're going to do it or what the outcome is going to look like, but you do in your head. And I kind of have a picture in my head, although it's sometimes it's faded and it changes. Um, but that's okay. So we're just kind of kind of work together and see how it turns out. Joanne, I can't wait to meet you, girl. I'm not going to have any gum when you come. I promise. Hi, Tricia. Okay, we're going to put this one on this side. Cut that off. <clears throat> Did everyone have a great weekend? If you guys did anything exciting, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me and Dina know what you did. What did you do all week? Did you get to work? Oh, gosh. Can you tell them where you work? 
Mm -hmm. Can I tell them where you work? Mm, yeah. Uh, well, Dina works at Walmart part-time, guys. So, if anyone else on here works at Walmart and y'all just love it like me and Dina do, y'all uh, leave a comment down below. Let Dina know that she's not the only one that, you know, sometimes she wants to scream. <clears throat> but we all want to scream sometimes. Okay, so we put that one there. And if you'll notice, and I'm sure you guys do, this one's a little bit taller than this, but that's okay because when you have when you see a realistic arrangement or realistic flowers, um, sometimes um, they're not all the same height. So that's what we want to keep in mind as we do this. Rhonda, I would have loved to have gone to that concert. <laughs> hey, Jackie, what's up, girl? Hey, Sherry, what concert should you go to? Are you on sticks? I don't know who that is. It must be before my time. Who is that? Yeah, it was before your time. Oh, before my time, guys. But they changed our music, and now I'm not dancing because they're going to be asking, are you going to dance? But uh, they have, like, 80s playing now. They had Beyonce the other day. When Beyonce comes on, I'm liable to hit the floor. So um, have you noticed the change in the music? Mm -hmm. They even had the Titanic on when I came in. That song, My Heart Will Go On. Yeah, I bet that's what Jack was thinking when she drowned him in that, long, in that ocean. But, um, you know, I love this music. It's like a good selection. Hi, Donna. Hey, Katie. Okay, so we've got these three in here. Now, we want to make sure we take all of these flowers down to the base of the container. You don't want to just have them sticking up like your hair in the morning because that is not cute. So, we're going to put a few more flowers coming down here at the end just like this. And, of course, we have the orange here. We're going to alternate our colors, so we're going to go with more of a yellow flower here. Okay. Hi, Theo. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, Vicki had a softball tournament. This will be a beautiful weekend here in Texas for a softball tournament because the weather was nice. Although I woke up this morning and it was a freaking ice storm out there. I was thinking, let it go as I was walking to my car. But um, <clears throat> it's still beautiful outside. Okay, so this one, and guys, before you anchor something or secure it in your styrofoam, like I said, cut it and play with it and make sure that's where you want it to be before you make it permanent. Um, just like a tattoo, don't ever, whew, make sure you think about it long and hard before you get a tattoo. You have a tattoo? Just one? Oh, Lord. Okay. Anyway, we're going to talk about that later. <clears throat> so, I'm going to hold this here, and as you see, it goes to the base of the container. Kind of at the rim right there, and that's what you guys want. Okay? So, we're going to put a little glue on here and secure that in there. See how natural those look? And they have little curls on there. I love that. Hi, Net. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put one more on this other side. Right here. Ooh, I'm loving the way that looks, guys. It looks so natural. I'm frozen on this screen over here. Ooh, that's not a good sight. Okay. <clears throat> There's a couple of people saying they're having trouble. Really? It's not frozen on there, is it? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. We're going to cut this one, too. And we're going to measure just like we did before on this side. Just like that. And as you can see, that's a little bit long. So we're going to trim it a little bit more. Okay. And if you cut your stems too short, guys, and they come apart, that's a good uh, reason to have a pick machine on hand if you have one close. Because you can actually put a pick on both of these, and it'll help hold it together for you. So I happen to have one here. Okay. And I'm going to put this one on this side. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Glue on there. Katie, if you're still watching, I thought about you this weekend because we went to the Neil McCoy show in um, Streetport and Bozier. And then we went to Celebrity Lounge at um, El Dorado. I almost texted you and told you to come, girl. I was dipping and doing it. Uh, that place is jumping. They had a DJ in there. If you guys are familiar with that, if you're from Bozier, it's crazy. Are people saying some crazy? Hi, Teresa. Hi, too. Oh, hi, Jan. Uh, hi, Anita. Guys, it was a great show. And that place, Celebrity Lounge, is like in the casino at El Dorado Casino. They have like a lounge in there, and they've got a live DJ and we had bottle service, and we were just having a great time. And then we went back to the hotel at like 1.30 in the morning, and we wanted a hamburger, and we waited in line for 45 minutes for a hamburger. You better be glad I was hungry, because if not, I would have been throwing a tantrum. Annette, we do not sell the pick machines. 
no doubt. Okay. So, you guys kind of see your shape is starting to take place, even though we just have a few flowers in here, you can see it's starting to take place. <clears throat> so, we're Jan gonna... is asking, do you sing karaoke? Jan, it depends on what we drink that night and what we do. Uh, the later it gets, the more inclined I am to sing karaoke. But Dina can sing, guys. Of course, she's not going to show y'all. But she can sing, and she loves karaoke. So maybe I've been telling Dina since, I, since she started working here that we should go out and do karaoke. But she might not be able to speak to me yet the next day because of all the fool that I made of myself. But it'll be fun. And the good thing about karaoke is you can do it, and um, nobody cares. You know, you, you can sing, you can scream, you can dance, and nobody cares. So that's what I like to do. All right, so as you can see on the front side, we just have a little space here. Uh, we're going to put that last flower there. And, of course, you kind of have to measure that's too long. So we're going to trim it and play before we go. So there's one more about right there. All right, I'm going to put that pick on there to hold those two pieces together. Guys, here's a tip, okay? If you don't have um, a pick machine and you want to put your stems back together, what you can do is you can buy some floral tape that looks like this. And you can just tape the ends of your flowers really tight. This is sticky, and it will help hold them together for you to place it back in there and secure it. Okay? Hi, Rhonda, uh, Kelly, and Misty. I hope everybody's having a great day. Cynthia. Hey, girl. She says, when do you start decorating for the Christmas season there at Ellis? Guys, we start, August. We start here about July, July or 1st of August. And that may seem early, but it takes so long to get all that stuff up, especially me because I'm doing the most. You know, I've got to have everything. It's got to have some glitter on it. Shoot it out of my eyes. I like glitter everywhere. So about, <laughs> about August um, is when we really kind of get in the mode. And the fun thing is this year, you know, it's the first year we've been doing these live videos. I'm going to take you guys with me. So anytime that I get ready to do something new, I'm going to take you guys with me, show you um, what it looks like blank and with the dirt in the floor and with the crap on the floor. And I'm going to sweep it up and show you all the hard work that we put into making this place a winter wonderland for Christmas because a lot of people come in in August and they're like, oh my God, Christmas already. Um, and we're, some of us are thinking that too, but it does take a long time. When we look up from decorating, you can ask Dina because she puts out merchandise too. You look up after you've been griping and it's already November 1st. So it really just goes by super quick once the Christmas starts, it's coming in. So if you guys have never been here at Christmas, make sure you come by, it's a great time to come see us, but so is now. Jillian, yes, we sell these wheelbarrows. Yes, hi Jan, hi Jeanette. And uh, the price on the wheelbarrow, girl, I did not even look. Is it on the bottom of here? Oh, it is. They're $49.99 and then 25% off. All of our garden decor is 25% off, so that'll save you some money on there as well. Hi Debbie, she's all the way from Canada. I saw some pictures on Facebook of Canada. It looks beautiful. You ever been mm -hmm. there, Dan? No, that's on my bucket list, too. You're like me. My bucket list is never 10 miles long. Okay. So we got the front side done. As you can see, we have the placement of the flowers where we want them. You can still see that it's a wheelbarrow, so that's always important. And now we're going to flip this thing around, and we're going to do the back side. Okay. And yes, if you definitely, uh, if you wanted this for against the wall or something like that, you could definitely make it one-sided. If you did that, I would just put some greenery up behind this to kind of create a backdrop for all the flowers you put in the front, kind of like the mantle we did. That's a resemblance that you can, you know, go back and check that out. Um, but in this case, we're going to do it all the way around so that way we can use this as a centerpiece if we wanted, or we can use it somewhere else in our home. Okay. Um, Joanne is asking when online shopping is starting. Guys, I don't know yet. We're still working on that. Rebecca, if you're listening, um, maybe she can give us some insight on that. All I know is that they hired somebody to um, start um, putting all that stuff together for us. And I know you guys, I'm excited as you are because I can't wait for you guys to be um, able to get product that we sell here and really, uh, you know, create beautiful stuff and send pictures because me and Dina love seeing that stuff. Hi, Rhonda. Ooh, a Harley. Girl, you better get it. Okay. We're going to start with this orange one. Put the tag. And we're going to kind of put this one over here on the right side, okay? So as you can see, we're just going to start kind of on one side. It's up to you. I always work on the right side first because I'm right-handed. It just, it just flows better for me. But you can definitely do it opposite if that works better for you. Too long, so we'll just trim it a little bit more. For other things, she don't like bullets, so let me get you. Okay. Cindy, I'm the voice and the name behind the camera. Oh, she done who Dina was? 
Hi, Ryan. Hi, Sandra. Okay, so we're going to go on this side. Go ahead and put one more of these stems to finish that side out. Let me get a glue stick in here. Okay. Nancy Wilcox asking, are you self-taught or did you go to formal school? Hey, Nancy. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'm self-taught. When I was a kid, um, and I think I told this before, but we're going to tell it again. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to love Christmas lights, and I would just all the time decorate for Christmas and do all that type of stuff. And then um, I started here in 2010, and I wasn't a designer. Um, I knew that I wanted to be a designer and work here, but I didn't want to step on any toes, so I was just kind of treading lightly. And then um, one day, someone asked, you know, someone did something here, and they didn't like it. And so I said, you know, I can fix that. I can do that. And so, let me show you. And so, anyway, I did it. And then I've been doing it ever since. But since I was a kid, I would look at pictures and I would kind of replicate and create my own technique on how I do things. And I just kind of taught myself. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Kelly. We have any designers watching y'all. Make sure you give us a shout out and say hi because I love to see my girls on here. Let's see. Hi, Veronica. She got me a high five. Or maybe that's a slap. <clears throat> Whatever, it is. Whatever it is, I'll take it. Hey, Leanne. That's what Josh didn't think when I'm on his nerves. Okay. He said he was having lunch with Patty. Josh said that on there? Um, he sent it in a text just now. Oh, okay. Patty is, um, he asked me to go? No, he said he was Rude. having oh, Okay, Patty is um, the lady who used to work with him at the apartments. I'm glad he is because she's been, um, she made us in there real close friends. Okay, we're going to trim this one a little bit more. Side. And guys, you know we always come live to you on Tuesdays with a new video at 10 o'clock. But if there's ever um, anything else you want to see, leave it down below as request that you want to see any content material. Um, if you want to see more Easter, I was I kind of thought you guys were Eastered out because we've done a lot of Easter stuff. Uh, we still have a couple weeks, so if that's something you want to see and you still want me to hit on that that particular season. Um, leave it down below. Let me know. And if you don't, then, you know, let me know, too. We won't. Robin Stevens says that you and her have the same birthday. June 13th. Well, hey, Robin. Hope you... Oh, I'm so excited. We have... Um, so, we're Geminis, right? Mm -hmm. Crazy. We're crazy. Um, are you as crazy as I am, Robin? All right. So, we're going to put that there. And, guys, a lot of you are sending me Facebook requests on Facebook. Um, that's you can send it on my other. I have like a design page where I just put stuff on there that I make. It's designs by Dylan D Y L A N. So check that page out, and I'll um you know hook you up. I'll communicate with you on there. Sybil is asking why are you not using the leaves that you're throwing on the floor as a filler? Well, uh, who has it, Susan? Sybil. Oh, hey Sybil. Um, we're not done yet, so there's definitely a possibility that I can go back and use those leaves, but you have to trim the stem to get it the length that you want, and sometimes those leaves come off of there. But I'm glad you brought that point up, Sybil, because you can definitely save those. And like I do, even if I throw stuff on the floor during the video and you guys um, think I'm throwing it away, I always save stuff. You can ask, you know, I have crap all under my desk, and I pull scraps all the time because you never know when you can use that foliage that you cut away. So, honey, I'm always balling on a budget, and I like to use everything. Jennifer's asking, Hi, Johnny. what is your thought on where you might place this arrangement? Uh, Jennifer, hey, girl. Um... It's really up to you. You know, like I said, this is going to be something that it's all the way around decorated. And so, just like a Christmas tree, basically. So, you can place it anywhere in your home. You could use it as a centerpiece. You could use it up against the wall on the back of a couch in an office or a business or, a, you know, wherever you want. It's really up to you. But also, placement of arrangements, um, it kind of goes back with, you know, uh, what type of flowers you're using and what look you're going to have in the outcome. Because if you're using more elegant flowers, of course... Excuse me, that's something you would use um, on a dining room table. But this is a spring seasonal arrangement, basically. This would, because of the yellow and orange, just take you through the fall if you wanted. But um, placement is really up to you guys. Hi, Gloria and Debbie and Barbara. Barbara's asking about wedding centerpieces. Hey, Mary. Hey, girl. <clears throat> I haven't seen... Are you still at Dick's Sporting Goods? Leave a comment, Mary. Let me know. I went over there the other day, and I was thinking about you. Let's see. Gloria, these are artificial. Okay, trim this. This is our last stem. We're gonna put it right about here, but I'm gonna cut it a little shorter. Okay, put that about here. All right, 
I'm gonna have Dana scan up on this close, guys, so you can see what we've got so far. So if it's easier for you guys to see the placement of flowers up close, I want you to be able to see that and check that out. Down trip, girl. Okay, so as you can see, we put all the flowers in the center of that styrofoam because the outcome is always better and prettier. And like I always say, shape and presentation is the most important. Um, I need to tell myself that sometimes because I'll go to Walmart in sweatpants. But, um, I don't care. But, you know, as far as the arrangements go, you definitely want to make sure that your shape is always important to you when you decorate or design. And always have a shape in your mind before you begin a project, whether it's an arrangement or anything else. Okay? Hey, Janet. Oh, she's getting snow. Goodness. Hey, Jan. Okay. So... Now, we've got all of our big, or our larger blooms in here, so we're gonna go back with some filler. Now, we used um, predominantly the yellow and the orange poppies, so you can definitely stick with those colors in filler if you want, so if you can use yellow or orange or just greenery to fill in. But this is for spring, and it's fun, and I want it to be inviting and fresh, and, um, uh, you know, winter is so boring and everything's dead, so as soon as the, you know, it begins to be pretty outside and the weather changes, I want to bring that stuff inside and I want everything to be pretty and um, so that's what we're going to do here today. So I've got a couple different options. The first thing I'm going to add is this purple right here. I love these because they're smaller blooms. These are baby cosmos, okay, they are $5.99, 25% off for all of those wondering and I like it because you get multiple on one stem and like I always do, you can pull it apart and you basically can cut this apart and you know get the most out of this one stem and that's what I always like to do. Hi, Anna and Linda. Sherry, we're in Longview, Texas. And guys, while I'm cutting the tag off of this, I also want to remind you, we have like a VIP shopping thing coming up next fr this Friday. Fancy. And um, you, it's a private event, invite only. How you get your invite is you just go on to uh, ellishomeandgarden.com. You sign up for your email updates from Ellis. And uh, you will get an invite to come. It's from 5.30 to 8.30, I believe. And we're going to have wine, my favorite. We're going to have um, a live entertainment. Not me, but we're going to have um, um, a piano player. He's amazing. And we're going to have some snacks. And we have demos on the Green Egg Grill up there. Not me, because I'd blow my eyebrows off with charcoal. They're not going to give me any lighter fluid or anything flammable. I've got my extinguisher. Show them. i got my extinguisher right up here. I'm always prepared, because you all never know when I might blow this place down with something. So, hi I'm Jackie. Just ask him, do you always put the flowers in the middle? Yes, um, because you, we do that, Jackie, because we want it to look as really realistic as possible. And when the flowers grow, or you know, when the real flowers grow or live flowers, you they always come out of the center. And so we want to replicate the most realistic version of that that we can. Vicky, I'm about to cut this with scissors. This is not gonna work. What? Vicky's asking, have you ever worked with wood flowers? Hi, Vicki. I have. We had some wood flowers here a while back, and I love working with dryads, too. Maybe we should do a dried, a dried arrangement one day, because I love incorporating dryads into silks and stuff like that as well. Sherry, we have four different locations, one in Texarkana, here, Bossier, and Beaumont. Yeah, and you can find all that information, guys, on our website, ellishomeandgarden.com. Check that out as well. Okay, so I'm just going to put that here so you can see. Look at that purple up next to the orange and the yellow. I love it. So we're going to put that there. I was about to dip this. I don't have my glue pot over here. Okay. Colette is asking, how do you determine how to arrange your flowers? Um, hey, Colette. Hope you're having a good day. It's not the one that works here, is it? No. Okay. <laughs> um, we have a, a girl that works here named Colette, too. Um, you have to determine how big, first of all, how big, how wide, how long, you want your arrangement to be um, because it just depends um, where you're going to place it in your home. That's how big you're going to make it or how small you're going to make it. So determine that. And then um, you just want to have a shape in mind. Like I said, you don't want flowers sticking all different ways because that doesn't look realistic and it's not, the outcome's not going to be the best. Okay. So um, I always say start at the beginning. I start at the top. Okay. Work your way down and go a little bit shorter each time and place your flowers as you go. And as you design more and more, your own technique will come to you and you will kind of create your own way of doing it. Okay? Hi, Marilyn. Sybil is asking, you're using styrofoam as your base instead of foam? 
Styrofoam. Yeah, guys, well, foam and styrofoam is the same thing. I might say foam sometimes, but it's always styrofoam. And I just cut two pieces, I put them on top of each other, glued it down to the um, base, and then I covered it with the moss. And you can, if you don't want to use the green moss, you can use Spanish moss as well. It's just your preference on what you use. What's her name? Hi, Lorna. Ooh, she's from Hawaii. Girl, how's the weather there? Let us know. We're from Hawaii. Oh, Y'all are, are making me jealous. I want to go there. Okay. So we put that one there. We're going to come to go down here with the, and the next one. Okay. Again, on my bucket list. Hawaii. Okay. Josh's sister husband is from Hawaii and they've been there several times he said I'm like well they have family I think the most you spend the most on a resort or your, your, your hotel so if you can stay with family then I'm sure it would cut your cost down just a flight my mom was gonna get me a ticket to Hawaii for graduation mm -hmm. but I've never been on the airplane and I'm scared of hot so I'm you still have never been on an airplane I've been on the oh, airplane okay. now you just have to have Bloody Marys it'll be fun so she didn't get me the tickets to Hawaii yeah, I take Bloody Mary's at Tylenol PM, and then I wake up and I'm ready to rock and roll. Because I went to New York a couple of Christmases ago, and girl, that flight going into um, LaGuardia Airport nearly killed me. But, you know, I just held on, and I was like, we're going to make it, we're going to make it. As soon as I hit the wheels, hit the ground, I was ready to go until I got out of that plane and froze my butt off, because it was like 15 degrees. Cat, yes, they closed the Marshall store. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so bummed. I found this out. They're opening up a Paula Deen restaurant in Dallas, and it, I heard that I found out that it's not really hers. She sold the comp she sold that restaurant to someone, and they opened it. So well, I'm ticked now because I was going to, uh, I was excited to go and meet her. I love Paula Deen, y'all. Okay, so as you can see, we add a little yeah. bit of purple so far, y'all. So I'm gonna have Dina show up, skin up, show you up close the purple that we've added. Okay, we're just going to continue adding this purple filler throughout the rest of the arrangement. Okay? Rudy, it's a pick machine. All right. And again, a lot of you guys are asking how to follow me and how to stay in touch with me. And so instead of my personal Facebook, I have a design page. It's Designs by Dylan, okay, D-Y-L-E-N. And you guys can like that page. And I just put stuff on there that I make and talk about it and stuff like that. So I can definitely interact with you on there as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to this side, kind of right here, okay. Is this Backstreet Boys playing? Grand Sync or something? It is. Mm -hmm. We had, they had Boys to Men on there earlier and I was dipping and doing it, okay. Turn this around because again, make sure whatever you put on one side, guys, you definitely put on the other. Okay, about like that. Excuse me. Oh, bless you. Okay, put that one there. And as you guys see, I'm just going, you know, as I go, I'm adding and subtracting stems to see what I like uh, as far as the placement goes, because placement is up to you. Okay. We're going to put a couple more on this side, and then we're going to move on to our next set of filler, which is going to be some greenery options. Andrea, yes, we do have some blue bonnets. Yeah, guys, live and... Artificial. I think I saw some live ones out there too. I got mine last week. Yeah. I didn't get any guys because I would kill them. I mean, you know, I kill everything, so I'm gonna have to let Dana bring me one when they're blooming and done. I tried one time to get some on the side of the road. Nearly lost my leg in ant bites. Okay. <laughs> Those freaking fire ants are the devil. So um, if you can get past the ants, it's good. But I remember when I was a kid, my mom and stuff would stop on the side of the road, my grandmother, and they'd make us get out and take pictures of the wildflowers. And I'd come back with West Nile, you know, from all the mosquitoes and um, ant bites. So you gotta be careful for those things. Okay, this is hot. All right, we're gonna put one more kind of coming down here, or two more. I've got two more stems left. Cheryl's asking, have you ever used the spray foam? 
I have not. Someone else asked me that, guys. Leave a comment and let me know what that is. Cheryl, I really don't know what that is. I kind of have a, a picture in my mind, but uh, I've never heard of using that. Does, can, you, can you do that the same way as styrofoam? You spray it in there, let it harden, and then use that as your base? So leave a comment and let me know. Hi, Debbie. Thank you. Second to last gem we're adding. Okay, we're gonna add one more right here at the center, and I've got this one left. Okay. Like I'm glad y'all said something about foam, so I wanna tell you about this. There's two different types of styrofoam. There's styrofoam and there's desert foam. And you wanna stay away from desert foam because it's very soft and your, st your stems do not stay well in that. So for all of you who are designing and making arrangements, make sure you stay away from that desert foam. And a lot of you might like it and that's fine, but once you hot glue stuff in there, it just pops, it slides right out and it's very hard to keep your stems from falling out. And I've had that mistake before, so keep that in mind when designing. Hey Paula. Norma Jean's asking, what's the name of the best pick machine? Norma, I love your name. Um, the best pick machine, um, they're from Steel Picks, okay? S-T-E-L-L-P-I-X. You can find it on Amazon. Um, that's the ones that we basically use here. The one I have over here is all we've had it for 35 million years. But the one, the newer ones that we have at the counter are from Steel Picks. And you can find those wholesale and stuff online. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going to have Dina scan up and show you. Guys, all we've done so far is added the poppies and the purple filler. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And guys, please share these videos. We love to invite new watchers, new viewers to come join our family here at Ellis and on these videos. So if you'll do me a favor and share, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna go with is filler, guys. And again, filler is up to your preference. So, um, you know, choose a filler that's not too big and too overpowering that you still wanna be able to see the difference between the stems and you don't want it to look a big cluster of just junk, okay? You wanna make sure that it's very clean and neat and crisp, okay? Just like my skin from tanning. So you wanna make sure that's what you keep in mind. So again, one of my favorites is this one right here. It's called a leather fern bush, okay? It's $4.99, 25% off. I use this a lot in my arrangements. And guys, I promise, as soon as we get that online store up and running, this will be on there along with that maidenhair fern that I use because I know a lot of you um, I've been asking about the greenery and stuff that we use on the wreaths, so I'm definitely going to put that on there for you. Christine, we sell the wool barrels. Hi, Marilyn and Christy. Thank you so much. Hey, Kelly, thank you. Okay. A lot of people use the spray foam. Well, dang, I'm going to have to try that out. I'm going to have to go get me some at lunch, and uh, I'll have to try it. Maybe we can do that on the next video. We don't sell that here, so it's really not accessible to me, but I'll make a trip if it's worth it. Christina, we're in Longview. We do have a location in Beaumont. Okay. So I've got this filler here. I'm gonna put a pick on this one. And I'm gonna start this right over here in the center. Okay? And just kind of pull it apart, guys. Make it look as natural as possible because, again, you want this to look like it's rolling out from the yard. Hi, Rudy and Penny. Hi, is it Guinea or uh, Missy? Mm -hmm. Hey, girl. Thank you. Hey, Mona. Okay. I'm going to put this piece on. Mona's opposite. waiting for you to get your own TV show. Mona, me too, girl. I love TV money. So, y'all hook that up. Y'all send this in for me to HGTV, all the places. And I might have you as a guest on my show. That would be so fun. I need a talk show. I mean, I love to design, guys, but I could really, I just love, we all know, I love to communicate and talk and interact with people. Josh gives me, pro, he tells me all the time, we can't go anywhere without you uh, walking in Walmart and knowing who you are talking to or whatever. And I can talk to strangers, guys. Like, in the store, I'll be talking to a lady on the paint aisle for two hours about nothing. I feel like we're best friends. Just like you guys. I feel like you guys are my friends and my family. And I'm getting better with names, and that's why I wanted to see the comments, because the more times I see your name, I recognize watchers, and that way I can recognize you. Debbie's asking, how do you determine when to use a pick? Um, that's a good question, Debbie. Let me put this in here, and I'll tell you. Okay, so the picks are to make things easier to secure in the styrofoam. 
Sometimes if you have a larger stem, uh, like this, or here's one. It's like this stem here, see it's larger than these here, okay? And so, um, if it's larger, it's sometimes harder to stick in that styrofoam and that pick puts a sharp edge on here and it's easier to do that. And also sometimes for length, if you need something to be a little bit taller, put a, a stem on there and it gives you a little bit of length on there as well, or height, I mean, okay? What is the size of the pick? Hey Joe, Penny, me either. What'd you say? What is the size of the pick? Two and one eighth inch. I'm glad you asked that. There's different size picks you can buy. Some are really long. We always use a standard, which is two and one eighth inch. So you guys make sure you use those. Trisha says you need to host with Ellen. I'm, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. That'll be so fun. I love Ellen. But we need to have a cooking segment, you know, where I can eat the whole time. That'd be fun. Do you guys like Wendy Williams? I kind of like her. Y'all don't judge me. I know. Everybody's like, ooh, I can't stand her. But she's funny, and I kind of like her, too. <clears throat> what other talk shows is there? Like Live with Kelly and Ryan. I don't really care for her. Steve Harvey. Who's that? I mean, I know. Mm -mm. I don't know who that is, but I can't. Do you like him? Do you like Kelly? Kelly seems rude. Like, me and her get into a fight. It's either her way or no way. Kind of like me. So, I mean, we would like butt heads. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Debbie and Barbara. Annie's watching from Shreveport. Hey, girl, hope you're having a good morning. Penny, I'm doing good. How are you? You guys have a great weekend. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you uh, did this weekend. You got any plans? Um, I went to, like I said, I went to the Neil McCoy concert, and then I went to the casino, and not to gamble, because I can lose money in five seconds. I'd rather spend it on McDonald's or something. Hi, Colette. Hi, Sharon. The talk. That's a good one. I forget about that. Talk. Are people saying they like Wendy or no? <laughs> Some are. Yeah. You like her or you don't like her? It so, depends. Sometimes, sometimes she can do the most. Yeah. But most of the time she's pretty funny. So I'm just adding the filler, guys. I'm working my way around the arrangement. And that's what you want to do. Don't stick with one side or one particular area and just shove it full of greenery because we're using a variety. So go around, just place the greenery strategically where you need to place it so that you can fill in any spaces or holes that you have in your arrangement that you're working on, okay? Joanne, I've given up on NASCAR since Junior retired and all the changes. I don't watch NASCAR Mom anymore. said RuPaul. <laughs> you see me on RuPaul. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jackie, thank you. Hey, Vicki. Off my feet. I wouldn't for you to drop the hot glue gun on your foot. No, we haven't done that yet. Don't jinx me like that because you know if anybody's going to do it, it'll be me. Because hey, Christina. Hit your leg as it goes down. Mm hmm. Rip all this hair off. Okay. And guys, Jackie's comment from Jackie's Reese. She gave me a call. We had a great talk on the phone. She's crazy like me, so, you know, we're already besties. <clears throat> so if you guys. Um, don't follow her. You should check her out. She does some beautiful work on there as well. Okay. Angela, we're in Longview, Texas. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of spin this to see what we got so far. I need a couple more pieces of greenery right here in the front. You know, and it's sometimes always remember, back up from what you're doing, really take a look, and then go back to your arrangement, okay? Hey, Cindy. I want one more piece, and then we're about done with this particular greenery, okay? Take these tags off. And while I'm getting this apart, I'm going to have Dina scan up, guys, show you what we've got going so far. And we're just adding that greenery in there. And as you can see, it's creating a great filler for the arrangement. Okay. Diane's asking, do you do classes and do you have video tutorials? Hey, guys. Hey, Diana. Um, all the past videos that we have done on Facebook are on our Facebook page under the video tab. 
Um, you can watch any past videos. And we do offer classes. I don't teach them, but Gayla does here in the Longview store and Vicky does in the Bowser store. And I'm glad you asked about the classes because anyone interested in that, the schedules are posted on our website at ellishelmandgarden.com. You just click on the um, tab, check out those pages. Make sure you pay attention though because there's two separate schedules and they're totally different. So there's Longview, Texas, which is where we are, and then Bossier City, Louisiana, where Vicky is. So make sure you look at which one that's closest to you and check that out. But some of them are at nighttime, or all of ours are, but some of Vicky's are at nighttime. And you can bring some food in, guys, and have fun with your girlfriends. It's a great girls' night out away from your family. Sometimes you just need that break. And so come up here and spin it with us. Hi, Lori. Okay. Let's see. So, I step back and kind of look at this. And that filler is really adding something to this. It's really pretty. So the next thing we're going to add is a little bit more yellow. Just a pop. We don't want to freaking overdo it like one of the hair bows people put on their kids sometimes. Do you like those? They're bigger than the kid's head. Yeah, the kid is like standing there like this and that freaking bow is there. I just want to rip it off. I can't stand it. But, um, so we don't want to go overpower like that. We want to just do less is more. So I've got these little berries here. Um, so we're going to add these for some color and for the greenery effect because it's got beautiful foliage underneath the berries. Lori's asking, are you going to add a bow? Lori, I'm not going to add a bow today, but guys, that's something you could definitely do. Just add your bow, put it on a pick or a stem, and then insert it into the um, container, whatever you want to design. Beaumont does not offer classes? They don't. I don't believe. Uh, it's just Bossier and Longview. Okay, so we're gonna play with this. See where we need to put it. I'm gonna put a piece right there in the center. And also, as far as the picks go, guys, the harder the stem is, you don't really need a pick. But if it's something flimsy like this greenery here, it's hard to get that to stay in the styrofoam where you want it without drooping. So that's another reason why you would add a pick. Somebody's asking what the pink flowers are behind the barrel. That's a surprise. No, I'm just kidding. Um, these are Quincy Blossoms. We'll use these in the mantle. And I laid these here because I thought we might use them, but I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned and we'll figure out what we're gonna add to. Okay. So are you actually working today or are they just coming to the video? No, I'm actually working today. For once? Okay. I have an appointment after I get off, so. Oh, okay. I'm in regular clothes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, guys, you can see I'm just adding that yellow. I'm going to have Dina get a little closer. And she can show you. It just makes a difference. Even though it's not a big difference, um, that pop of color really brings out the yellow in those poppies. Okay? And we're going to continue adding these all the way around. I am starving. Oh, is it lunchtime? It's 11 o'clock, guys. Is anybody um, getting ready? to eat lunch. Do y'all eat lunch early? Let me know what you're going to have for lunch. You know I love to know. I like to sit on here and watch and me and Dina start starving. Jackie says, I feel like I'm the only one who pictures a bird making their nest out of raf... I can't pronounce that. Raffia? raffia? Oh, raffia. Yeah. That is added to wreaths. Yes, I love that, guys. And I haven't used a lot of nest um, in the videos, but I do use them a lot in my designs. Um, they're great because they come on wire. They look realistic. Some have little eggs in them. And you can add a little nest in the edge of this. And I'm glad you brought that up, Jackie, because I didn't even think about that. But if I had one, I'd show you guys. That's easier. All right, again, I'm just going to turn this. Jan says cheddars. Jan, mm -mm. I can't even. I'm still heated. If y'all missed my cheddar story, I think I told that on the video we did with the lanterns, maybe. Y'all need to check that out because I can't stand that place. And Jan it always gives me a hard time about cheddars. Can't stand it. Rudy says salmon and asparagus. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh, chicken and dumplings. You like this? I'm not a dumpling fan. It's something about the texture, I think. We don't have a Qdoba here. I wish we did. A what? Qdoba. What's that? It's Mexican. Ooh, sounds good already. But I had Mexican twice yesterday, guys. I went to lunch with a friend from 1230 to 4. We had a great time. And then after that, I met my grandpa and, uh, or I call him Pops, not Pops, and my mom and my sister, and we went to another Mexican food place, and I didn't eat there. I just had some chips. But um, I could eat that all day. Spaghetti. Mm. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea, because now I am starved. My stomach's growling. Some people say they haven't even had breakfast yet. Me either. That's why I'm hungry. I'm not a big breakfast eater, so. 
Ooh, pineapple pepperoni pizza. I've done pineapple and Canadian bacon. I know, I hadn't even tried that. Okay. Maybe that's what I need is Pizza King. You're the one who likes Pizza King, right? Do I love it? So good. Okay. Guys, again, I'm just going through and I'm placing my stems to see where I want them and I'm adding them as I go. If you like what you see so far, leave a comment, let us know, or give us a thumbs up. And guys, if you'll please share these videos so we can get some new viewers on here and new friends of ours, then I'd appreciate it. I think I'm gonna do Casale later for my point. I had that, that's where we went after. I went to Papa Cita with Miss, uh, my teacher, or my friend, and then after that we went to Casale. And I was so upset, I just ate because I love Casale. People make fun of it in like Kevin, and he tells me that it's like a TV dinner. But if you grew up eating it, it's really good, isn't it? Kind of, you've been here forever, like yeah. Debbie says that she's coming here for a lunch hour, or coming to Ellis for a lunch hour. Debbie, I can't wait to see you. I'll be gone if you're coming to Longview. I'm, I have lunch from one to two every day. So if you guys ever pop in, you know where I'll be. I'll be throwing down from one to two, and I'll come in full and sleepy at two o'clock. But we'll still have a good time, and we can work off all that food by shopping and filling up your buggies and stuff. Hi, Key. Oh my God, Key, how are you? I said something to my aunt. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. Key, I said something to my aunt um, last time I saw her and she knew exactly who you were. Uh, guys, Key, um, she goes to my aunt's chiropractor, Dr. Dr. Buffington in Rockwall. She happened to come in, she was a viewer. She saw me and we started talking and we found out that she knew my aunt. So it's a small world. Rockwall's about two hours from here. So that was great. So, hey Key, I hope you're having a great day. Um, hi, Diane. Girl, it's no problem. Better late than ever. That's what I tell people. Michelle's finished off half a can of Pringles. She's not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh, you sound like me. As soon as I sit down to watch TV, I'm like, oh, I need a snack. And I can't, I'm not even hungry most of the time. My favorite snack, though, everybody knows, is ranch dip and ruffles. Original ruffles. It's my favorite. That's why I hadn't lost any weight. Because all of them greasy chips. <clears throat> okay. We're going to put one more piece right over here. And then we're going to be about done with this. Debbie's asking, does the, oh, where'd she go? Deb, we lost Does her. the rule of thumb for using odd numbers in decorating, does this apply in arrangements with color? Say that one more time. The rule of thumb for odd numbers in decorating, does this apply to arrangements with color? I notice you have orange, yellow, and purple. Three different colors. Odd number. Um, Kathy, give me just a second. I want to tell you all that cheddar story again. Everybody's asking, but... Um, odds are just basically up to you. If you're going to use something that's very visible, like I always use a Christmas tree as an example, if you use large red balls on the Christmas tree, that's something that's going to be visible. And so um, you want to use odd numbers because the presentation at the end and the outcome will be a lot better. But if you're using flowers like this, you're really not going to stop and be able to visibly see how many stems you use without stopping and counting. So you really don't have to use odd numbers on this, just on bigger items that doesn't have a lot in there. So I hope that helps. Okay, guys, everybody's asking about the cheddar store, so I'm gonna tell it one more time, okay? I'm getting heated because it just makes me so upset thinking about it, I hate that place. Uh, we went to Cheddar's one night, me, my mom, and my sister. It was about five o'clock and it was still, um, the sun was still out, but it was kind of cool if you weren't in the sun. So we decided we're gonna sit on the patio. So we go in and ask the waitress, I'm like, hi, um, we have a party of three, can we sit on the patio? So we go and sit on the patio and it is, the wind is blowing so hard. Um, I nearly froze to death. So we sit out there, the guy comes out there, a really nice guy, waiter, and he says, you know, what can I get you guys to drink? And my mom orders a pina colada and Morgan orders um, a glass of wine. And I told him I want two samples of the wine. Now, everybody knows samples are like this big, okay? So we get an appetizer, 30 minutes goes by and we're froze. So we're like, we're gonna go ahead and move inside and we haven't even got our drinks yet. So the waiter comes out there with a big tray of drinks and he brings me, not samples, two full glasses of wine to the rim, red wine. I mean, it was like this much wine in the glass. Morgan, had a, my sister had a full glass of wine, my mom's drink, and we said, we're gonna go ahead and move in if that's okay. Everything was still calm, cool, and collected. So, we move inside to the table, sit down. We weren't even set in the chair for five seconds. He done pour, he dropped the tray, soaked my mom in red wine. She was baptized right there in that chair with red wine. All over her, her pants were wet, it looked like she peed herself. Um, there was all over the table and I was laughing so hard and I had my phone out and I was taking pictures and the guy was like, are you sure you want to capture this? And I said, honey, yes, this is a Kodak moment. So um, I took the pictures. My mom was mortified. She was screaming because she was freezing because all that wine and stuff in that drink. I'm just glad the glass didn't fall and knock her teeth out because then that would have been hilarious. You could have kicked a field goal through that hole. So 
Um, then, you know, we're mortified, so the guy comes back. He is traumatized, the waiter. is really nice guy. It was an accident. Accidents happen. So they come over, and I explain to the manager, I'm like, look, I asked for samples, first of all. He brought me two full glasses. How am I going to drink that? Although I could. Um, so we asked to reorder our drinks. Our food came. By the end of the night, we hadn't even got our drinks yet. And so, anyway, in a sidebar, my mom ordered chicken fried steak with some um, Texas toast. And that was no Texas toast. It was a dried up piece of sunbeam bread. She knocked it on the table and it fell apart. It was so freaking hard. Nearly chipped tooth eating that crap. So, um, let's just say, Kathy, girl, we're never going back to Cheddar's. We got our meal for free. Um, and I, every time I go there, it's a bad experience. And one time I went there and I got rejected from sitting on the patio because they said they didn't want to go out there. They didn't want to walk out there. Well, excuse me. So, they don't have my business anymore, girl. So, I just can't go there. I'm, I'm done with it. I just hadn't heard that story. <sighs> Yeah, what me and Josh went there one night. It was like after the movies, like nine o'clock, and they said we're not. We, we said, can we sit on the patio, please? And they said, no. Um, we don't have anybody that wants to walk out there right now. Mm. Mm -mm. I told y'all it takes a lot to make me upset, but if you mess with my food or you're rude, because I am not rude to anybody. I always uh, have been taught to respect people and have manners, and um, that is not what they did was not right. Hey, Candy. Hi, Melanie. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to turn this around at the front side where we started. And the turnout is starting to be really good. So I'm going to have Dina scan up to show you what we got so far. As you can see, our shape is pretty much there. And all we're doing now is we're going back and we're filling different aspects to bring color into this arrangement or life is what I like to call it. Okay, so the next thing I found was this morning. I just, have you seen these? Yes. Okay, well, I haven't, they must have just came in. But I uh, was walking around the store this morning trying to figure out and decide, excuse me, what I want to do. And um, so I found these, and these are actually a bush, guys. They're $7.99 and 50 off, so they're like $4, and you get all these, and these berries are beautiful. And look at that. They really just bring out this arrangement. So I found these, and we're going to use them, and we're going to finish this off with these particular berries. Have you guys ever had a similar story or a similar experience with Cheddar's or any other restaurant? If you do, please leave a comment. Let us know what happened. I love to go back and read that. I know I'm not the only one that's having throwdowns up in Cheddar's or any other restaurant. Hi, Judy and Lynn. Yes, guys, we do sell the wheelbarrows. Um, they're $49.99, 25% off by themselves. And we're actually, you can use it for live flowers. You can use it for a candy. A lot of numerous things, uh, but we're going to put the arrangement in it today. All right, I'm going to trim all this. Sounds like I'm cutting my fingernails with these. Hopefully not. Okay. We have these particular berries, guys, and we're going to use these to add filler in here. So any space that you see that you want to add a pop of color, that's why we're going to use these. And I like them because they're longer and they're full and stuff like that. You just lift the door. So, as you can see, we're going to place one there. I love that already. So you see, I just put one in there and it's super cute. Hey, Rich and Kathleen. Okay, place this in here. And guys, this will be for sale when we're done. So if you come in shopping, you don't want to do it, no problem, Bob, because you can definitely um, purchase this one. And these are great also because they're longer. So it'll give you some height if you want to add a longer one in here like I'm going to do. Okay, so about right there. And make sure you put glue on each one so that way they stay secure in your styrofoam as you, as you go. Okay, see. Hi, Dawn. She's a first timer. Well, welcome. I hope you're having a great day, great morning. Dawn, if you'll do me a favor and leave me a comment, let me know how you found out about our page. I love to see where we find our new people from. And welcome to the family, Dawn. Ooh, Rudy has got to go. His salmon is done. Well, thanks for stopping by, Rudy. Hey, Vicki and Diana. Hey, Kathleen. Kathleen Cheddar's is a restaurant. Advertise in red one. Sure does, Janet. Okay. We're going to put one more at the front. Just like that. And you can also use, everyone, the same techniques I'm showing you and do different flowers. So if you don't like these flowers or if they're not going to match your home or your, you know, where am I working? Or your design, that's fine. You can definitely replicate this using any type of flowers that you choose. You can see those purple ones I just added in there. Actually, before I scan her, I'm going to have Dina come up closer. 
So for those of you who are watching and replicating, you can definitely see this as we go. Okay. Hi, Marilyn. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And guys, I appreciate all of you watching. I just say whatever and do whatever. I love that we can just be open and honest here. Um, so thanks for being here with me this morning. Put another one here. Anne's um, asking, how did you secure the styrofoam? Um, guys, I secured the styrofoam by hot gluing it. I just put some hot glue. I just burned the crap on my finger. Um, I put some hot glue at the bottom and I secured it by doing that. Someone else just tried to close the door and it didn't work. It came back up. Okay, we're going to continue to add these, and as you can see, this is still that one bush I cut, and I've got all these stems on that one bush. So that's the great thing about using that, is it's inexpensive, and you can really get the most out of it. What My are finger the, is on fire. Those purple flowers, what are they? These? Those berries. What are they called? Let's see. They're called just berry bush, okay? So, and a lot of the things that we used when we do get the online store up and running, I'm going to make sure we list those because I use a lot of the same filler agents in all of my arrangements and I want those to be uh, accessible to you guys for when you create or design at your home. So I promise, guys, I promise, as soon as we get that up and going, we'll go from there. I'm gonna add a couple more of these purple ones because I love these. And then we're gonna add ivy and then we're gonna be about done with this arrangement. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the ivy in just a second. Okay. Thank you, Debbie, so much. I thought there was a bug. Mm. Have you been having uh, those ladybugs at your house? Mm -hmm. I found one in my bed the other night. I thought something was crawling on me. I don't know what it was, but uh uh. Can't they do bite. It. What? They're not a real ladybug. What it's, are they? It's a it's a beetle. You know why did you tell me that? Now I'm gonna, I can't go to sleep tonight. But these bite. I, I'm gonna sleep with a can of Raid. <laughs> In the middle of the night, I'll be. <laughs> I'll put a circle around my bed. Uh, I don't do bugs, especially that bite. God, and guys, I'm terrified of June bugs. Y'all want a funny story? You just go out there and put a June bug out there when the lights. We had. Um, in my front door, we have lights out there, and they used to be swarmed with June bugs. I would literally dart down the sidewalk, through the door, and one time I darted through the door, and it wasn't open. It was locked, and I had to stand there with those freaking um, June bugs swarming around, and it was crazy. So, mm, can't do the June bugs. Okay, so I've got all of the flowers I'm going to place in here. Now I'm going to add some ivy for length, and to really make it look realistic, Okay. Oop, Joanne says Asian beetles. Do they bite, Joanne? Have you had that experience? Dina's got me freaked out now. My God. Hey, Wanda. Okay. So, and I made myself really nervous, guys, because I watched those untold stories of the ER, and they get a June bugs down in their ears and stuff. Oh, huh. no. That would not work for me. Could not do it. Mm -mm. Okay, I have this ivy here, and you, if you guys recognize this, I use this in a lot of my arrangements for the length. And for color, it's variegated, so it's got many colors on one leaf, and that's what I like. Okay, hi, Penny. Okay. Ooh, Bobby, me too. Oh, God, Debbie's so they bite. Dina, you really traumatized me now. I'm just not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'll have to sleep tonight. They in my... hurt when they... They're not real don't ladybugs. Don't tell me that. Because ladybugs don't bite. They're all over there on the floor. You see them? Real ladybugs they're swarm. don't bite. These things bite. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Okay. I'm gonna put a pick on this, and I'm gonna bend it. And I'm gonna put a piece right over here, underneath, okay? And as you guys see, I can just bend it, and kind of have it spilling over the wheelbarrow, okay? And I've got shorter pieces because I can do multiples. another piece right here. Put one in. 
And if you don't like ivy, you can definitely use other things for length, you know. There's lots of greenery that you can find at certain stores that are longer and that drape and they get that drapey effect. So that's definitely something you could do as well. Hey, Trisha. Hi, Roseanne. So see there? It just hangs over. And then you can definitely um, continue along with this on the back side as well to really get that look that you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to have Dina scan up and show you the finished product. So guys, this is super cute. It's something you could use for a table centerpiece. It's something you would use anywhere in your home all season long. And as you can see, we placed all of our flowers in the center of the styrofoam and you can still uh, determine what that is underneath and that is a wheelbarrow. Super cute. So you can add this to your spring decor. You can add other objects with it. You can put a little frog down here, some seasonal objects. Um, and again, that's why I like using neutrals or galvanized uh, products because it's a neutral color. You can add any pop of color to it that matches your home or your design or your porch, wherever you're gonna put this particular arrangement that we did today. So guys, this about wraps it up. Again, I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we did and I'll put a supply list on the end when we get done with the video. Um, I used the poppies for the main flower and then I filled in guys with these um, right here, these baby cosmos. I used this yellow berry, the purple berry, and I used the leather fern bushes filler and I loved using the ivy just to kind of spill over the edges when we're done to finish off this particular arrangement. All right, guys, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Even after the video ends, I'll go back, I'll answer those for you, let you guys know anything that you wanna know. Um, guys, make sure you like us on Ellis Home and Garden on our page. Share this video so we can find some new family members to watch this as well. And for all of those who are sending me uh, friend requests on Facebook, guys, like my design page, Designs by Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, and I will communicate with you through there. And I just post stuff on there that we do up here, and it just gives you another place to see everything, guys. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I come to you guys every Tuesday with a new video. And um, 10 o'clock on Tuesdays, but of course I can't stay away for long, so I come to you all through the week with new content, new material, anything you want to see. I've seen lots of questions about, um, not questions, comments about bridal stuff, and we don't have a huge bridal selection around here, but I can definitely add some whites and creams into some arrangements, show you different things you could use for weddings or tablescapes for weddings. So anything that you want to see, leave it down below with content, with material, and I will definitely go back and um, check all that out, and we will go from there. All right, guys, so I want to thank everybody for watching today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. It seems like the sun's coming up. It's going to be pretty here. And, um, again, anything you want to see, leave down below. And thank you for watching today, and everybody have a great day.